Minecraft has an update problem. Mojang keeps adding amazing features, but leaves other parts of the game neglected. So in this Minecraft Hardcore series, I added specific mods to attack those areas of the game that needed it most. But before we can see those, we need to do the beginning Minecraft thing. Okay, now that we have our beginning tools, it's time to find some sheep before it starts getting dark out. Come back here. And here we go, this makes three. And we've completed Operation Bid. And while I'm here, I'm gonna have to, um... Get some food. Sorry, cow. One of the things that I think needed updated in Minecraft was more of the atmospheric exploratory mods. Essentially anything that can be found in the world to show a little bit of history and this is the graveyard mod which adds these ruins everywhere. Okay. Okay, redstone. Ooh, we got ourselves a pretty big ravine. I need that coal. It's time to upgrade to the stone age. We got ourselves coal. Oh, just just the one okay okay I almost got shot to death by a skeleton but it's alright it's alright just just gotta just gotta just gotta get in here and you know, everything will be alright everything is just gonna be alright okay <laughs> Okay. Oh, not enough. <laughs> there we go. Now we're now we're getting back to health. Another part of Minecraft that I thought need updating was the sounds and this mod that I've added, which is a essentially a remaster to all the sounds, makes it a little bit more echoing the caves. I do really like the sound of it. Okay, I made it to the very bottom. I need this iron. Alrighty, now that we have all this iron, I can smelt it really quick. I come back down. There's a lot of banglum. There's a lot of I, f I forget the name of you. And a lot of this. There's a real lot of ore that we can get to really get started in this world. Okay, we're upgrading to Iron. Ooh, hello, Banglum. Ooh, decent amount of Banglum. Could probably get back. It is called Banglum. I don't know if it's only in the Nether, but uh, that stuff has a chance of exploding. See what I mean? See what I mean? There's a chance of exploding. I am lucky I did not get blasted off. I think caves can be a little bit boring sometimes. Because there's not that many ores in reality. So I added mythical metals. Which adds a variety of new ores and armor to the game. As well as decorative stuff. Like this. I, for I forgot its name. It's been so long. I'm sorry. What is your name? My son. Quadril... Quadrillium. I don't know if that could be made into armor, but I think that can be made into tools. More over here. If you've gotten to this point in the video, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. As well as this. This is Magnesi. This could be a fun decorative block. Not sure if it can be turned into armor. That right there was silver. So we got a new challenger. Here. Okay, now that we got all of our new ore, I think the banglum is going to be the perfect armor. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We got some armor now. It's definitely around iron level, it seems like, but there is some blast padding, so that helps the creepers at least. Okay, looks like I was correct with quadrillum pickaxe. This stuff could not be turned into armor, but it could be turned into tools. So it's time to leave these parts and find a place for us to start our home. Ooh, we got a horn. Which, which sound is this? Which sound is it gonna be? <laughs> Okay, I'm liking this little peninsula area, as you can see on the mini-map. I think this has a lot of potential for builds. I think it really does. And we also have a graveyard, it looks like. I say we uh, disturb that bone blocks. Oh, 
with the roses. Oh boy. Fortuno. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh, look, we got a spyglass. This is actually the first time I've ever had one in Minecraft. I'm going to be honest with you. What is this? Well, I'm seeing spawners, so very careful what's in here. I'll take the sharpness axe. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'll take that. A gold block? Don't mind if I do. In a gold, in a capital? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Diamonds? Okay. Ooh, emerald, emerald jackpot. Okay. D -d 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 Diamonds? Prop four. So I'm gonna have to come back here in between episodes. There's so much loot. Hell, I haven't even gotten everything yet. We have 43 emeralds. Oh my. Okay, I have an idea for my house. But I'm going to have to uh, do some deforesting. Okay, I've got some stone smelting in here, and I have a little bit of an outline. It's going to be a smaller starter base, but what I want to do is kind of bring it inwards. The wall's actually going to start on this block, so it has more of a 3D texture. It has a little bit more texture to it. I might actually make it just a bit bigger going on the back, but this is at least the base of how I want this to look. So yeah, we can have a little L-shaped starter base, and I think this is going to look really nice once we're done with it. And the roof is going to be stone. So I'm going to get started here on the building. Okay, we have finished the exterior of the starter house. So the roof design's a little bit different than I would normally do. I decided to, on these edges, because we did the interior wall and then the logs, I decided to put these little spots here at the end and then do the roof over. And I kind of like the way it looks. And we also used two uh, different block sorts. We have the uh, cobblestone, or not cobblestone, stone bricks, and then cobblestone bricks, which is a part of a mod I added, which adds a little bit of features to, uh, and adds more blocks and features to already pre-existing items. Also added some of these stairs to the pillars. We have the front entrance with a little archway. I think it looks really cool. And we even have like a little tinted glass uh, window up there, which maybe we could expand this and build it over. Uh, <laughs> Similar to another YouTuber that I've seen in the past called Dallas Med. I would love to expand this and just make it bigger than it is. Or just expand the area with more buildings as well. And then, on the inside, we have moss as the carpet, or the flooring. I kind of wanted to do this. Uh, I knew there was moss over there in the graveyard. 
And I don't usually use this for flooring, which it does have a good flooring texture to it, and I really like it. And we have this main room, which we can do something with, even maybe make a, a loft area, maybe, as well as putting a another bed over here at some point, and making this like a little bed space. I really, really liked how this turned out, especially since I experimented for a little bit, because uh, the idea to do this like kind of inner wall to pillar here i got it from a youtuber called wax fraud i was ex like really inspired with this kind of look and it turned out really well on the roof it was more of an experiment on these little pillar tops here I'm trying to just do something i don't normally do and i think it turned out really well also uh i have an urn it's built in storage iron legging mending pants can be in there that, that, that'll be a uh, That'll be a little surprise for people. But I really think this episode went well. We had the perfect start to an episode one. We got armor, we got a home, and we have some food. And in the next episode, we are going to get super OP. See you in episode two.